This is your 420 Radio News for Thursday, October 31st, 2013. I'm Russ Belville. Corporate interests in Maine torpedo 2014 legalization effort from the Weed Blog. Normal has worked with Representative Diane Russell in Maine to craft and prepare for introduction a measure that would have legalized and regulated the adult use of marijuana in the state. The proposed legislation would have legalized the possession of up to 2.5 ounces of marijuana and the cultivation of up to six plants by individuals over the age of 21. It would have established marijuana retail outlet, outlets and cultivation sites across the state to create an above-board regulated market. To ensure that both those with experience and those with strong ties to the state of Maine were given priority, applicants who are already operating in Maine's medical marijuana program and applicants with two or more years residency in the state were to receive the right of first refusal for retail licenses. To be introduced, the measure had to be approved by Maine's Legislative Council, and it was on track to do so until today. At the last minute, moneyed corporate interests representing established medical marijuana dispensaries came in and managed to flip one of the votes necessary to approve the bill for introduction. With pressure from those with vested interest in maintaining the status quo, this proposed legislation ended up falling one vote short of what was required for introduction. Court blocks ruling on New York stop and frisk policy from Yahoo News. A federal appeals court on Thursday blocked a judge's order requiring changes to the New York Police Department's stop and frisk program and removed the judge from the case. The judge had ruled in August the city violated the Constitution in the way it carried out its program of stopping and questioning people. The appeals court said the judge needed to be removed from the case because she ran afoul of the code of conduct for U.S. judges by compromising the necessity for a judge to avoid the appearance of partiality, in part because of a series of media interviews and public statements responding publicly to criticism of the court. The judge had ruled that police officers violated the civil rights of tens of thousands of people by wrongly targeting black and Hispanic men with its stop and frisk program. She appointed an outside monitor to oversee major changes, including reforms in policies, training and supervision, and she ordered a pilot program to test body-worn cameras in some precincts where most stops occur. Medical marijuana using parents get baby back from USA Today. In a case that galvanized Michigan supporters of medical marijuana, custody of an infant seized by Child Protective Services workers last month was awarded to the child's parents Friday in a Lansing courtroom. On September 13th, Steve and Maria Green, each a state-approved marijuana user, stood in their Lansing home in shock as employees from the county's Children's Protective Services Unit said that the Greens might be exposing their infant daughter, Bree, to marijuana. As police looked on outside the Green's two-story gray house, Bree was taken from her mother's arms and driven away. Four attorneys volunteered their time, and leaders of the medical marijuana community declared the case would make or break future investigations involving medical marijuana by child protective units across the state. Sales of marijuana in the District of Columbia for medical use are off to a slow start. From Washington Post. Since the first legal purchase of medical marijuana in the district in late July, 59 patients, or fewer than one per day, have had their names added to the list of those legally registered to buy it, said Fasisa Waldu, Senior Deputy Director of the Health Regulation and Licensing Administration. A father of a severely epileptic four-year-old said his family would move to California next year if a refined version of cannabis that could limit his son's 10 to 15 daily seizures is not authorized for therapy in the district. Others said that post-traumatic stress disorders, digestive ailments, and migraine headaches should be added to the list. Some even argued that the list should be done away with entirely and symptoms left up to doctors to manage with marijuana as they see fit. New minister clarifies drug stance after cannabis comments resurface from The Guardian. Norman Baker, the new drugs minister in the UK, has previously said cannabis is, quote, no more harmful than alcohol or tobacco, end quote, a sign that he could bring a more liberal approach to his role in the Home Office. He told BBC's Radio 4 World at one program he intended to concentrate on his policy briefs, which include drugs, alcohol, homelessness, antisocial behavior, online exploitation of children, and organized crime. Asked on Tuesday whether he still believed cannabis was no more harmful than alcohol or tobacco, Baker said in a statement, quote, I do not encourage anyone to take any harmful substances. Cannabis has become more potent over the years, and long-term use has been linked to increased risks of mental illness, end quote. This has been your 420 Radio News for Thursday, 
Halloween Day 2013. I'm Russ Belville. When we come back, we go behind the headlines and take a look at the history of the medical marijuana industry opposing legalization of marijuana for healthy people. You're listening to The Russ Belville Show on 420radio.org. We'll be right back. 